And finally, we have 16 and 17, where we're working with our fractions and mixed numbers. And poor me in the test here, I'm getting all mixed up. Let's see if we can find the problem here. I did find a common denominator correctly. It's out of 10. Now, here's my mistake. It's a common one. Once we find the common denominator, we might think that's the only part of the fraction we have to change, but that's not correct. Um, if we need, like, our something out of 10 has to be equivalent to the 2 out of 5. And so here's a place where we need to use our giant ones. To make the 5 into 10, we're multiplying by 2. So to make the 2 into something out of 10, we also multiply by 2. This should be a 4. And then down here, um, to make our 2 into 10, we're multiplying by 5. So we multiply the 1 times 5, and we get 5. So the issue here wasn't about the common denominators. It was the second one, forgetting to use giant ones to change the numerators and make the fractions equivalent. And then once we have that fixed up, it's fairly easy to see this is going to become 4 tenths. This is going to become 5 tenths. We add the 3 and the 4 to make 7. 4 tenths and 5 tenths should be 9 tenths. Our correct answer is 7 and 9 tenths down here for answer D. Hope that helps.